Hello my dear friends, welcome back to our channel. This is your teacher Fred, who will teach you about how to translate some mathematical phrases. And now, we will learn to translate English phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa. So, are you ready? Come on, let's go ahead and learn new things. Before we proceed, I would like to invite everyone to please subscribe to our channel to keep you updated for our upcoming videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, please click the like button and share to others for them to learn new things. And now we will start. The language of algebra is composed of numerals and letters. To represent a known numbers and symbol or signs for the operation. The symbols of operations and relations with the corresponding meaning are as follows. First symbol means increase by addition plus added to the sum of more than. Next means subtraction minus equals by subtracted from and less than. Third one means multiplication times multiplied by of or product of. And the fourth symbol means division divided by ratio of quotient of the fifth symbol means equals is equal to and is the next symbol means is less than and this one is greater than and the next symbol means is less than or equal to or is at most and the next one means is greater than or equal to or is at least and the last one means is not equal to all right let's have some examples 10 added by twice a number x a number y multiplied by 7 twice a number a divided by 3 4 subtracted from the product of 5 and a number x twice the sum of a number x and 6 and the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the sum of the length and width okay in the language of algebra the following are important terms to remember. First, constant. A number on its own. A term without a variable. For example, 1 or 13. Next is variable. A symbol, usually letters, which represent a value or a number. For example, A or X. In truth, you have been dealing with variables since preschool in the form of squares, blank lines, or other symbols used to represent the unknowns in some mathematical sentences or phrases. Next is coefficient, a number multiplied to a variable. In 4x, 4 is the coefficient. Term. A term is a constant or a variable or constants and variables multiplied together. For example, 4 xy or 8yz cubed. The term's number part is called the numerical coefficient, while the variable or variables, including the exponent, is or are called the lateral coefficients 
for the term 8yz cube, the numerical coefficient is 8 and the lateral coefficient is yz cube. And that is it for today my dear friends. We do have a lot of things to discuss for our next videos. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and I would like to say thank you for those who already subscribe. Okay, that's the wrap for today's lessons my dear friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!